Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, young stars. What's Hi, up? Valder. How are you? I am very well, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show, Brittany Inge and R.J. Walker. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to uh, have my audience hear from you personally about Boomerang on BET. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with Brittany. Women are always first in my world, R.J. I'm sorry about that. Let's go. Let's start. Hey, let's Don't go. apologize. <laughs> okay, as long as it works for him. Okay, Brittany, let me ask you. I was looking at your resume before we talk about Bloomerang. You have such a strong resume for such a young, beautiful person. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, you're very talented. Both of you are very talented, but you've got a very strong res resume. You've worked with some, I would call, some of the greats already in your early career, and now you're in Boomerang. So tell me about your role in Boomerang. Well, I play Crystal Garrett, um, and I love playing her. She is just a kind black, very black, uh, beautifully empowered black woman. Um, and she used to be married to RJ's character, David. They got married right out of college. So she's recently divorced and just a woman who's on her journey to find herself and step outside of the friend group that I think at times she uses as a security blanket because she's so used to uh, focusing on them and working to fix their problems. And she hasn't always done the work to find and heal herself. So season two, we see her really on a journey to coming back to herself. And it's been so much fun uh, portraying her and living out that journey. Thank you. And I forgot to ask, so I'm going to let RJ. RJ, give me the premise of Boomerang, because everybody may not know the character. Someone posted on my webpage that uh, just the baby boomers watch the original Boomerang, but I don't think that's true. Uh, I feel like uh, Boomerang is good for all, uh, all ages and audiences. Uh, the show, uh, it, it covers the, the children of Marcus Graham and, uh, <clears throat> and Jacqueline Breuer, so... Uh, Bryson, uh, played by Taquan Richmond, is the son of Jacqueline. Uh, Simone Graham, played by Tatona Jackson, is uh, the daughter of Marcus Graham, and we're all the, all the rest of us are their best friends. So mm -hmm. it's a nice living single slash black friend situation we got going, and we're just <laughs> navigating the landscape of millennial life. I want to ask you, Brittany, you know, he mentioned living singles. Uh, African-Americans have been looking for that kind of genre to connect with for a long time. Not saying that there aren't other shows, but it seems like Boomerang might be that, that fill that void. What do you think? I absolutely agree with that. I think um, of all the shows of the 90s that bring us all the good black TV nostalgia, I would say Living Single is the one that is most closely aligned with Boomerang and the stories we tell and the values we're trying to uphold. You know, they were showing young people of that time, like going for their dreams. You know, Khadijah owned a magazine company and she hired her cousin to work for her and Max was a lawyer. I mean, there were all these different characters and facets um, of the black experience that that show represented. And I think Boomerang is doing the exact same thing. So I love being compared to Living Single. That's perfect. I want to ask this to Mr. Walker. You know, they said the entire season was directed exclusively by women of color. I know you love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that the mm -hmm. question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yes. <laughs> It's a great, it's yeah. a great opportunity, and it, excuse me, and it it just doesn't even happen. It seems even in Hollywood as enough. Period, Hollywood as a whole. But here, you guys yeah. have this experience, so you guys are being uh, uh, prepared by the best. I think. What do you think? I feel like one, it should be a normal thing. Should have been a normal thing. Uh, coming up, well, I, I'm originally from Indiana, but I spent a lot of time in LA. I've been out here since 2011. And in 2012, I started a run of doing numerous commercials, a lot of commercials. And the thing I saw that was normal was that it would be more so people, more so white people who are in positions to work, especially when it came to hiring a black talent, uh, white hairdressers, white makeup, didn't really know what to do with me, but they were in position. And literally for a while, I was like, 
there should be more black women in, pos in position because they just know more than who they're putting in position. So to see, so to mm -hmm. see who we're working with now and, and Boomerang, I, I, I love it. And I feel like it's 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 long overdue, and it should be normal. It should, and I and I felt this way for years. So I'm, I'm it was a, it was a blessing to to have the kind of uh, atmosphere that we have for season two of Boomerang. All right. Thank you so very much for that nice, nice explanation. I want to mm. wrap up with you, Miss Brittany. I heard that you graduated uh, cum laude from Spelman. I did. I did. I was very studious, if you will. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think we talk enough about those things in interviews. We talk about the characters oh. and the roles and things like that, but that's such mm -hmm. a personal achievement. And that's why I was so enamored with you when you came on, because you're academically prepared, you're physically beautiful, and you are doing a great job. I want to thank you and Mr. Walker for being on the Valder BB show today. When do you guys want us to watch you on BET? Yes, thank you so much. BET, Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific. Okay, 9 p.m. for all my central folks, all right? Do not miss it. It is a one-hour season finale, two episodes. You're getting a two-for-one, so be there. We give y'all what y'all want. Y'all say y'all want it longer, we're giving it to you, so pull up. Exactly. Pull up on me. <laughs> Well, we want to be there because we want to be a part of this history-making show. So when we talk about it like Living Single, we'll be talking about BET, you know, uh, Boomerang, and we'll say, yeah, we were there, and we'll be part of the uh, history-making. Thank you, uh, both of you, for being on the Valder BB show. Thank Thanks you so much. Me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>